Hello folks, Resident FIFA here for the Road to Manual Mastery, Episode 6. But before I start Episode 6, I'm going to have a quick reminder about Episode 5. Because for some reason, YouTube, when I uploaded that video, it took several hours after I'd uploaded it for it to actually become available for people. I don't know why that was, so you might well have missed it. If you did, the link for that is in the description below. And if you want to avoid missing future episodes, uh, there is the playlist which you can check. And if you check that once a week, there should be at least one of these a week. So if you just check that, you will know if you've missed anything. So this is episode 6, where we ended up after episode 5, was with 7 points from our first 3 games in Division 8, where I'm setting myself the challenge of only using 5-star teams, because in theory I will then only come up against 5-star teams, which should make things a bit more interesting. And in case you're new to the series, the task I've set myself overall is to go all the way from Division 10 to a Division 1 league title using full manual controls playing against anybody. So we are continuing on with the theme of 5-star teams in this one, and for the first match of this video, I went for one of the very biggest five-star teams. I went to Spain, and I went for one of the Spanish giants, Barcelona. As per usual, you're going to get some live reactions for this one. And it turned out that to begin with, I was a little bit psychic. Right, this is almost, almost certainly I'm going to be against Real Madrid. Oh, what a goal. Almost certainly I'm going to be against Real Madrid. Yeah, told you. Doesn't surprise me. Okay, now Real Madrid is a team I absolutely loathed playing against on FIFA 12. Hated it. Just disgusting they were. But I am using a similarly filthy team. So maybe it will balance itself out. Maybe I'm just, um, I could be about to get my ass kicked. Thank you, I'll have that. Oh, please sprint more. No, clearly to PK. Yeah. There's the ball to Iniesta. There's the cross. There's the volley. Oh, that would have been a lovely goal. It's a great ball from Iniesta. Oh. Where's Ronaldo? Oh, there's Ronaldo. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Why did I say where's Ronaldo? Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. What the hell? Ronaldo's just immovable. What was that? So basically, what I ha it seems like I've discovered from this uh, from this challenge I set myself was that there's nothing wrong with it as long as oh, I'll have that. I don't care which way I score. <laughs> there's an equaliser. Right, that was lucky. Oh, lag, 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 lag. Unhelpful. Foul. Oh, oh, Sanchez. Oh, why didn't you run in? You were stood blocked by the defender. That was a perfect pass. Oh, you numpty. Why didn't you keep blocking him? You just kind of stopped. Is that yeah? Go on. Go ahead. Run down that wing. That's it. No one comes short. Yeah, no one likes you, Marcello. Oh, he's all lonely. Could have finished that. All right, let's bag a header from a corner. That'd be nice. There's the ball. Oh, damn you, Cassias. Oh, what a lovely goal that is. That is pure Barcelona. That is manual look at this look at Fabregas' run I saw that so early that is perfection absolute perfection I saw that pass from so far away well in Alves oh good ball and there's going to be there's got to be a break on here there has to be Fabregas isn't very quick 
Bush gets isn't very quick either. Why are these players forward? Doesn't matter. Bush gets with the finish. That is game set and match. Yes! Barcelona, the victors in El Clasico, and I always enjoy beating Real Madrid. You can see from the stats it was fully deserved. Once I got going after that sort of opening 15 minutes where it was a bit all over the place, then I found it reasonably easy. It probably should have been more. That puts us on 10 points from four games. We need two more points in order to get promoted to Division 7. For the next game, I opted to be Inter or Internacional or Inter Milan or whatever you want to call them. And I ended up against PSG. Now, this was actually a role reversal of the first match of the season where I was PSG against Inter. That ended in a two-all draw. There were goals in this one as well. Let's see how it went. Now then. Oh, missed. <laughs> Thiago. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Thiago. Whoa, that was risky. Forgot about Thiago Silva. He's going to be a problem if he's on the left. Good save, keeper. Had to pile men in on Ibrahimovic then because he didn't ask him to stick a foot at it. But Palacio wins it back. Oh, OK. If you're going to give me a gap, well, why the hell not? Ugh! Ooh. Yeah. Wise to that one. Oh, that's not the player I was hoping would... Oh, didn't hit it. Oh, no. Oh, no, I got past him. Oh, still past him. Oh, missed it. Oh, I didn't think I was going to roll him. I was trying to turn the other way and his touch took it past him. I'd already, I'd already turned back. Oh, flip. Oh, oh, that'll work. Hello, Minuto, don't miss this one. Yeah, no mistake. No mistake that time. Get in. Moonwalk. That was careless of me. Can't win that. Oh, it's in. It's managed to sneak in. So, 2-0 up early in the second half. Taken a couple of chances, playing reasonably well. All seems to be going fairly well. And, um... Uh... What do you what do you mean meltdown? I don't like the sound of that. Oh, I see. Because because he scored. Yeah, he did do that. And um, oh, and then he he scored again. And if it's still the warning going, I'm guessing yes. Right. Okay. Debrief. Well, basically what happened is my defence, slash my defending, went completely to pieces. For his first goal, as you can see, my defender here just decided falling over would be a good idea, and Ibrahimovic lashing it into the bottom corner of the net. The second one, maybe I couldn't have done all that much about. This is the kind of thing I was expecting to happen with five-star teams. Pastore cracking a shot in off the bar. It's a great hit. I don't mind that one too much. But the third one! Just... What am I doing? I have watched this back several times. I still haven't figured out what the hell I'm doing. I just run away and let him score. And that meant he was 3-2 up. But there was still time for me to get back in this. And boy, oh boy, did I have a go. Yes! Great finish, Cambiasso! Superb! Dug myself out of jail. Right, let's get a winner. Oh, go on. Oh, what a save! What a save! It's it! Oh, deflection. I was going wide. The pressure is man. Oh, what a block! Oh, no! Come on! So close! Don't run away! Don't you dare! There's the ball! There's the header! Oh! He's put it over! Oh! The Siege of the San Zero! What a game that was! What a game! What a game it was! A six goal thriller ending in a three all draw. How I didn't get another goal at the end, I've no idea. But there was really that 10-minute spell of complete lunacy at the back that cost me. 
I've got to get on with it. I'm on 11 points, one point short of promotion, five matches to get a draw in order to go up. Surely that's not going to be too difficult. Find out next time in the first match I will be using Chelsea. And I'll actually be using their blue kit, EA, hint, hint. If you can uh, let me know what you think of this video, that would be fantastic. If you can tune into the next one, that would be awesome as well. But even if you don't do any of that, remember, play manual.